Hey YouTube, welcome back. So today we are going to unbox uh, this. This is the new Kobe Z uh, 10 by 10 gazebo uh, canopy tent. It is great for a uh, backyard, outdoor party, wedding, barbecue, or any other events. This one uh, offers a uh, mosquito uh, netting with a double uh, roof. And uh, it also has a silver uh, coated uh, UV protection, UPF uh, 50 plus, and uh, UV protection is 99%. The height on this is uh, 8.9 from the legs to the top of the roof, or uh, the leg itself is uh, 6.7 feet. And this one uses a uh, premium uh, material, ensure the usage of uh, longevity of this uh, tent. So the netting uh, wall, prevent from flies and uh, mosquito. It is uh, well ventilated. Double tier uh, top roof where it will stand uh, windy uh, condition. It will come with a roll up uh, door with a zipper and uh, tent uh, stakes. By the way, I have to give the shout out to uh, Thomas from their marketing team for uh, sending me this. And also come with a one year uh, warranty. By the way, be sure to check out the link that's going to show in the description so I can uh, check out this uh, item out. And by the way, they also have uh, different uh, colors. And uh, this one is the khaki uh, color. This is the screen. So they have an individual number, okay? Make sure you don't mix it up. So this uh, plastic is the one that goes in the middle of the top of the roof and you're going to interconnect all those uh, metal pieces together with this.
then you got this uh, nice uh, screw on metal pole. Pretty solid. This is the fun part right here. Got Zippo instruction manual. And all these are numbered. Number one, number two. Got the number three, got eight pieces. Number four, you have uh, four pieces. Number five, you have four pieces. Six, you have uh, four pieces. Number seven, you got four pieces. Eight four pieces, nine pi uh, number nine four pieces, number ten eight pieces, and then you got the uh, number eleven. You have uh, eight pieces to screw screw on. Twelve you got one piece. Number thirteen you have twelve pieces. Number fourteen you got eight pieces. Get the uh, one piece of the top roof. And then uh, one piece of the second uh, top roof. And uh, 17, you have uh, one piece. So uh, we're gonna install first number three and number 10 together. And then after that, we're gonna uh, connect it with the pole number one. We're gonna use a screw on, which is uh, number 11. And I'm gonna do that for uh, all four corners. And then on the middle section, it's gonna be number nine, number four, which is uh, gonna be interconnected together with the left and right corners. All right, so this is uh, 10. And uh, three. So it seems I just uh, connect this together, that's it. Okay, like that. And we're gonna connect it with the number one. Alright, so this is uh, number four and then uh, number nine. I'm gonna insert this through this uh, tunnel right here. And when you uh, connect the, uh, when you interconnect the number 10 and number three, make sure this is uh, this uh, square post is uh, inside the tent.
There you go. Finally got it done. So I'm gonna put the top part. Okay, we got this uh, six, which is this one right here, and we're gonna put the plastic uh, cap on there at the end. And there are three different holes that you can adjust to. Okay, and uh, six is gonna connect it with the number eight. And uh, seven and five is gonna interconnect uh, together. And on the number five, you need to put the plastic cap on there too as well. And also on number eight, you're gonna put the plastic cap. And this is where we're gonna put on the corner for number six, the corner post. And you to need to interconnect all those uh, seven, eight, with the number 12 uh, center cap. And uh, this is uh, number five. Oops. It's going to the center of the tent of the frame. And you need to put the cap on the end. Just like number six. So all the seven goes in the middle section, okay? And all the eight go on the corner.
So uh, you gotta make sure you don't uh, do the corner and the midsection first before you put the, the top layer on top of that top section right there. So I can maneuver the fabric back and forth, okay? Wow, looks pretty good. It's getting hot. And uh, all we need to do is just put up those uh, four of the poles for the legs. You want to do it with the two person or I was going to tweak the tents of the frame. Well, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to support in the mid section. Wow, look at that. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to put the screen. So yeah, I just need to uh, velcro on the inside and then there are four of the zipper doors one, two, three, four and uh, without this uh, netting mosquito or fly or bee or any of the other insects should not fly in here okay yeah, you also got the uh, air of these uh, stakes there's uh, two of uh, holes on each uh, side of the pole. You can stick this down if you have the if you have a backyard lawn or a front yard, courtyard, whatever that you're gonna stick this in, just in case the wind doesn't blow away.
Okay? And then there is a uh, tie down to tie against the pole so it doesn't move in and out. Also on the outside. And uh, this is what it looks like when the curtains are open with the tie down. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or uh, drop any other comments on below. And thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the link that's going to show in the description. See you guys in the next one, I always. Peace.